Hey parents and families, my name is Caleb Jun, and I'm this year's ASB president. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Face the flag, put your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Presented by the Rio Norte Choir, the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars Finally, a message from our principal. Good evening, Rio Norte families. I am Brenda Bennett, the principal of this incredible school. It has been three years since we've been able to have families here for a traditional back to school night, and we couldn't be happier to have you all on campus for this great evening. While the severe heat wave disrupted our traditional opening for the evening, I appreciate our staff and parents for making last minute adjustments so we could provide this presentation online tonight. A special thank you to Rio TV and their advisor, Mr. Ippolito, for putting this together at the last minute so you could hear our wonderful choir led by Mr. Gilbert. I'd also like to take a moment to thank our custodial crew and groundsmen under the leadership of plant manager Bubba Sanchez, who worked tirelessly to get the campus prepared for the school year and tonight. Thank you to our office staff for their support and assistant principal Ms. August for organizing this evening's events. Our ASB director, Ms. Ng, organized our ASB students who gave up their evening to come and guide you in finding your students' classrooms tonight, along with our campus supervisor crew. So look for them if you need help between classes. And last, but far from least, I am grateful for our amazing teaching and support staff who are committed to giving your students their best. At this point, I would normally introduce and point out some of our district dignitaries in the crowd. So I'd like to still take a moment to make you aware that we do have our superintendent, Mr. Mike Kuhlman, visiting with us tonight, along with Ms. Iram Velik, our director of student services and equity, and our esteemed board member, Ms. Linda Storley. We thank all of them for their support of our school as well. I want to share with you what a great start to the school year we've had with your children. We as a staff feel blessed to have a strong community of parents who are dedicated to their children's education. We appreciate you partnering with us during this time here to help your child grow academically, emotionally, and socially. For those of you that are first time junior high parents, we know how nerve wracking it can be to see your child move from an elementary kid to a junior high student trying to explore where they fit in in our world. There can be struggles sometimes as they manage and organize six different classes and different teachers, balancing homework and in some cases hours of outside extracurricular activities. For some, it's the social aspects that are challenging as they meet new people, possibly change or expand the number of friendships, and mistakes might be made around social media, gossip, or other events. Others may simply struggle with the pressure they put on themselves to excel and reach their long-term goals. 
Whatever challenges your child might face while at Rio, our staff is here to partner with their students and with you to work through any adversity, help them learn from the challenges, and help them grow and become more independent before they head off to high school. This year, as we continue to focus on delivering high quality instruction, we as a staff will also be focusing on a component, component that we feel is critical in the two years your student is in junior high, and that is building strong relationships and connections between staff and students. Think back to the teachers that had the most impact on you and your life, and in most cases, it will be because of the relationship the adult built with you. I think many of us in education have known this for a long time, but more and more studies and reports are coming out post-pandemic indicating students learn best when they feel connected to their teachers and their school, and they feel that the adults surrounding them care about them and care about what is best for them. I am a parent as well, and many of you now know I have a son and daughter in our district, so I can share in the fact that as our children make mistakes and grow, some of which can be painful, they do not always believe or want to admit that we care about what is best for them. I want to assure you all tonight that we are on the same team. We, like you, have high expectations and standards, but if they fall, or happen to fail at something, we are going to be right there to help them learn, pick themselves up, hold them accountable where necessary, and root them on as they try and try again. So tonight, I ask you, our parents, to please partner with us. Be a part of our team. Assume best intentions and talk to teacher and st teachers and staff asking questions first this year. We want to work with you and your child and use our educational expertise to help you all navigate junior high on their path to high school. I believe in our staff and our students and I believe tonight you will be impressed with what you see and hear. So with that, I hope you enjoy your evening as you get a tiny glimpse into your child's day at Rio Norte. We hope Rio Norte is a great experience for you and your child, and we look forward to the year ahead with you. Thank you, and good night.